In this robotic trading lesson, we are going to address the question that I get the most often, which is, do charts really work? Are they worth learning? And then trying to develop a strategy around. And the point of this is I want to provide some documentable proof, hardcore proof that charts do indeed work. Now, you're going to have to make an investment on your time and effort to learn them. But when you do learn them and understand them and what to look for, as this video is going to show, with documentable proof, they do indeed work as a profit producing strategy. The video is going to be very straightforward. First thing we're going to do is look at a past analysis that I did on the Dow Jones. So we're talking about an overall market here. And then we're going to fast forward to the present and let time be the ultimate judge of just how accurate that previous analysis ended up being. Just a quick note, going to spoil the video here, but as you're going to see, the analysis turns out to be very accurate and very favorable for charts. But that's how I wanted to come across, not myself padding uh, myself on the back, but padding charts on the back. And I also don't want to come across as suggesting that it's just a select few that are able to make these types of price uh, movements forecast. It's nothing like that. If you make the investment into your time and education, then anybody can do this. It's just a matter of learning how to uh, use charts and what to look for, and you can do the same exact thing. This video would be pretty worthless if we didn't have the documentable proof. So if you're watching this on YouTube and in the information area below the video, there is a link to take you to the piece of evidence, as we're going to call it, which is the old Dow Jones analysis that I did. If you're watching this on our blog at bullwarriorstocks.com, then in the area right above the video will be the link to that piece of evidence. We're going to now go over eight observations that I made in that original analysis. And please be skeptical. If you trust me and don't want to go back and double check, that's fine. But I'd encourage you to be skeptical. Up here, I've provided the time of each of these quotes. So if you go back and look at that piece of evidence, the original analysis, you can double check and make sure that I did say uh, you know, these quotes. So observation number one, I said, I do think that there will be a pullback, but I'm not saying the markets will reverse. And if you're new to charts, there is a definitely big difference between pullback and reverse. So that's why I put that in here. Just because something pulls back, it does not mean it's reversing. Observation number two here at the 22nd mark, according to the chart and looking at the chart, a very logical conclusion would be there is going to be a pullback. And I just want to drive home that I was saying there would be a pullback because when you look at the chart, when we get there, you'll see that uh, it had just been basically uptrend, uptrend, uptrend. So calling a pullback at this point, uh, you know, wasn't something that, uh, you know, a lot of people were doing. But it's one of those things where by using charts and knowing what to look for, uh, I don't want to say it was an easy call, but, you know, there's a lot of clues pointing towards a pullback. And then just observation number three pretty much is a derivative of the first two because there's going to be a pullback. I said the point of the video is that I want to make or excuse me, to map out some support levels. And that way people that like to play bounces can and then hopefully make their trading a bit easier. So because I thought there was going to be a pullback, I wanted to map out some potential areas where you could see bounces. A lot of people like to play bounces. So I wanted to uh, point out some areas where you could indeed see a bounce on pullback. So, so far, judging criteria, three analysis claims have been made. First one, there will be a pullback. The second, the bounce spots will be mapped out, so we'll have to see how accurate those are. And then a pullback, yes, a chart reversal, no. And as I have already noted, there is a difference between a pullback and a reversal. So I'm claiming there will be a pullback, but as far as a total reversal, I I'm not claiming that. Observation number four, I'm simply calling 15,100 one of the supports. And remember, supports, these are the potential bounce areas that I am mapping out. So bounce area number one, 15,100. Bounce area number two that I'm calling, 14,865. So I've now mapped out two support levels, which is where uh, if you like bounces, those are the areas you should be watching like a hawk. Observation number six, and this is in regards to the price closing below the 14,865 support level. So in regards to that, the quote, now we're talking about an even bigger pullback. So if the price closes below there, I'm saying that if that happens, look for a much deeper dip. And then seven and eight go hand in hand. Uh, if you're long, you will want to lighten up on your loads. If you like to short, you may be looking at an opportunity here. So uh, that goes hand in hand with everything else. So here is the Dow Jones chart when I did the video. Again, please be skeptical and go back and look at the piece of evidence and you will see that this is exactly what the chart looked like at that point in time. So what I want to first do is map out those bounce points that I talked about. The first one being right down here. 
at 15,100. Change that to green to represent this is where we are expecting support and areas of bouncing. And then that next one that I had drawn, if you remember from one of the observations, was at, let's first get this down here, 14,865, which was down there. So we'll just leave those support levels there. And now let's see how things unfold as we go through time. And like I said, look at this trend, just up and up and up, no deep pullbacks. Sure, you've had a few little pullbacks there, but nothing too significant. And you can just see it's been, you know, up, up, up. So at this point in time, you know, for the chart to say that it was, you know, about to be a pullback, a pretty powerful thing. So like I said, that's why I think this piece of evidence uh, is pretty darn compelling. So let's just start to go through time. Right there, dips down a little bit. Uh, but not much at all. That's just a, a very minor pullback up there. Tries to reattempt. So, so far, I would, none of this is a pullback. This is just sideways consolidation. And then right there, you get the first uh, pullback thing. Like I said, 15,100 was the bounce spot. On that day, it went as low as 15,115. So, technically missed it by $15. But when you're talking about something that's trading over fifteen thousand dollars to only miss it by fifteen I think that's pretty darn impressive so right there let's see if it bounces at all from there and there you did get a nice little bounce and then it pulled back there so although not a major bounce uh, it did hit that level and then the next day a nice green candle followed by even more upwards movement so for those bounce players that like to you know short-term swing traders or whatever Definitely some nice profitable opportunity there, thanks to technical analysis and recognizing support levels. So let's keep on going through support. So when this support was broken, you can see here, uh, you know, the chart did not like that, and it really, uh, you know, fell down here. And now this is definitely pulling back. So uh, if you don't think this is a pullback, then I'm not real sure what to tell you, but the price is definitely pulling back. And then looky right here, price fall, falls down, uh, goes as low as. 14.844. We said 14.865. Uh, so again, what is that? $21 if my math is right there. Pretty darn impressive for something that's trading at $15,000 to uh, only to be within $21 of it. Uh, and you can see there, got the bounce from there. And this was a very nice bounce. So looking at that, for those bounce players down there, again, that's a, a great move for them. So going back here, hovering around a little bit. Again, if you were still hanging on from down there, it got even a little bit higher of a high, but I'm sure if you're a shorter term swing trader, you would have already sold out. And then right there is uh, the next point where I said, I remember if there's any closes below here, look for a, a deeper dip. So let's see what happens. And again, if you don't consider this a pullback now, when it's uh, you know below fourteen thousand eight hundred and it was up here above you know fifteen thousand four hundred, then I'm not sure what to tell you. So there is a, a potential bottoming day, and then went all the way down to as low as fourteen thousand five fifty one. So again, from here all the way down to there, when looking back at the chart, you know this was basically the deepest dip it's had pretty powerful argument for the power of charts I would say and then what I want to do is just speed things up because remember I said there would be a pullback but not a reversal so sure enough right there you can see that it did not reverse on us it indeed actually went back up and put in new highs so there is that pullback you can see bounce area number one that I talked about, but then this bounce here was much more obviously uh, profitable. And then when it did close below uh, this support level, the 14,865, the dip did indeed go down lower. And then obviously if you locked in your profits as a long up there, that was a good decision as the overall market pulled back. And if you decided to initiate a, a short position, this was a nice little uh, short for you also. So on those points, uh, worked out real well too thanks to uh, charts now again I hope you're skeptical and saying to yourself well geez that was just one example of uh, technical analysis and charts actually working I'm glad you said that I'd encourage you to come to bullwarriorstocks.com and if you come up here and then click on previous winners it'll take you to an area where we go through 
many of our other winners that we've had and each one has documentable proof we don't just say we called it at this spot and then just uh, you know don't provide any sort of proof that you can go back and verify all these uh, posts all these uh, winners have that documentable evidence documentable proof whatever you want to call it so you can see that we did indeed alert the chart when we said we alerted it and then you can see what happened with it so for the people that are thinking oh, that was just a one-time thing again bullwarriorstocks.com click on previous winners and we have a nice little selection for you down here in fact we have you know more that you can look at if you want so don't don't let the whole don't play the card well that was only one a one-time thing lots more uh, lots more evidence over here thanks for watching the video hopefully you found it helpful and pulled out some things that you can use in your trading strategy whatever that may be if you did find it helpful and informative then I'd encourage you to check out a couple of these resources here the first being our robotic trading course as you can see it's over eight and a half hours of teaching so there's plenty of information there's all sorts of stuff and with it you'll be able to build your own strategies learn about charting in general and just really be able to like it says profit in any market environment because remember just because the market may be bad you can always short and things of that nature so uh, with the course it goes over how to use charts and when you learn the foundational things like that then you can begin to build your own strategies that benefit you and fit into your personality and so forth so um, I'd encourage you to check that out and also on that note, uh, I'll be the first to admit I'm pretty biased when it comes to it. So I'd encourage you to check out the third party reviews and testimonials. Uh, those were all unsolicited, all uncompensated. So these were just people that were reaching out to us saying, hey, I bought the course and these are my thoughts. So I'd encourage you to uh, go to that link and just check out third party reviews because like I said, uncompensated. They reached out to us and wanted to offer feedback uh, because they were happy with the course. Also, uh, we have a Bull Warrior Stocks newsletter um, that is located at bullwarriorstocks.com. If you sign up for the free newsletter, you'll receive a free ebook with some charting strategies and so forth, a part of it. Uh, and like I said, that chart or the site is completely free, uh, no obligations, no hidden costs, uh, no strings attached, anything like that. You can subscribe, unsubscribe whenever you want to, uh, and you're not going to have any sort of cost or anything pop up. So I'd encourage you to check out that. Uh, but, you know, as a warning, I'd say that it's better to learn charting and so forth because the bull warrior stock site is revolving around charts so you got to know what you're doing when you're looking at charts so uh, place one would to start would be up with the course and then that way you can gain an understanding and add another tool to your tool belt so again thank you for listening hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions or anything on either of these things please get a hold of me thank you and have a good one